Bruner. Bruner has a British opponent this time, first time in five fights. Stuart Lithgow from the northeast of England, the northern area champion. And he's a very tall man indeed, Lithgow. Six foot four, he's an inch taller than Bruner. But he's conceding the enormous amount of 22 pounds. And that is an awful lot of weight to give to a known puncher like Bruno. Frank Bruno of Wandsworth, who's won all his 10 pro fights and has taken only 17 rounds to complete those 10 fights. Well, Mr. Lithgow has been making a few bold statements to the press, such things as he's just a mechanical fighter and all he's been fed so far is pushovers and I'm not one of those. And now the moment has come when Stuart Lithgow and he's got to make all those statements tell. There's no doubt this fight has caused uh, a lot of interest because everybody is hoping that somebody will stand up to Bruno and just let us see whether he can come through a really hard fight. As we really haven't had much chance to see what he can do. Only one man's ever got as far as four rounds with him. That was an American. There's the first right from Bruno, and uh, I think this girl rather felt that one. Fifteen stone, four and a half pounds, Bruno. And Lithgow, 13 stone, 10 and a half. 22 pounds lighter. The referee is Sid Nathan, who goes about eight stone, soaking wet. professional fights. Former national hunt jockey. Amazingly enough. We're now putting a few rib benders in. This goes taking them. He's got a slight nosebleed. Otherwise appears to be reasonably unharmed as we come to the end of the first. Second up, round two. Well, so far we haven't seen too much evidence of the uppercuts that we were told Bruno's been practicing. Because Lifko has a habit of crouching in and... Uh, Bruno said, well, if he does, I shall uh, be practicing my uppercuts on him. Bruno, whether you think he's a good prospect or whether you think he's having too many easy fights, there's no doubt at all he's exciting the boxing world and uh, you can tell just from the atmosphere here in the Albert Hall that whenever Bruno gets in the ring, as that old electric surge goes through the audience. He's an exciting fighter. And of course the whole of British boxing hopes very much that at last we may have a young and eventually world-class heavyweight prospect. And Lithgow could be one of the men to test that tonight. <laughs> Lithgow had a, an eliminator for the British heavyweight title in February last year in Birmingham and got stopped in two rounds by Gordon Ferris of Northern Ireland. So if he gets past two rounds with Bruno, then that in itself will be a bit of a feather in his cap. 
Lisko now marked underneath the left eye and having a little go with Bruno. So maybe the big man from Wandsworth is going to be booked for the test tonight. Lithgow takes them and stands there still. Has he got a punch to hurt Bruno? Finding Bruno with the long left lead. Blood coming from the cut underneath Lithgow's left eye. And Bruno gets caught with more punches than he's taken in the 10 previous fights put together. And there's the bell on Hardy Heard in the third round. Second up, round three. Lithgow defences at the start of the third. And maybe Bruno's come out with the orders from Terry Lawless. You better get this over. Because the man is proving a bit troublesome. Well, at least Lithgow is making a fight of it. giving Bruno too much chance to get set on those solid legs and throw the big one keeping him off balance and preoccupied at times with defense exactly the right tactics stays in close to avoid trouble and he blows hard let's go he's beginning to feel the effect of those big bruno punches smothering bruno trying to time up and bruno trying to get rid of him the uppercut he showed it and it worked getting this crowd going more than many a championship fight has done in this old hall there's the bell end of the third second down round four Can Lithgow get through this and take Bruno further than he's ever been before as a pro? And this crowd very much on Lithgow's side. I suspect he's brought quite a little army of supporters with him from the northeast. Bruno not being in room 
to lever his punches in. Sit Nathan in grave danger of catching one himself when he does that. And there's slight worse damage now to Lithgow's left eye. It looks to me as though he may be cut above as well as underneath. Well, Gordon Ferris beat Lithgow in two rounds, and Bruno hasn't done that, or even three. And the eye is bleeding rather worse now on Lithgow. A lot of blood now running down the face of the man from Hartlepool. And that eye may well be the thing in the end that beats Lithgow and not Bruno's punch. being drawn again and again into clinches and close quarter mauling where he can't really make his punches tell so he's getting quite a little test here and signs of his inexperience here being shown up but he has to come through these things if he's going to get anywhere this is how he learns not from knocking people over quickly to get a clean shot at him. Break! Come on, there you go. Good break. Stand back. Stand back. First ball, first ball. The bleeding seems to have stopped of its own accord. And there's the end of the fourth, which means that Lifko will take Bruno further than he's ever been. And that's an achievement in itself for the 25-year-old man from the northeast of England. And Sid Nathan's being called over. Now, the, I think they may be calling it a day with trouble around the eye. Denny Mancini, the manager, is asking Nathan to have a look at the damage around that left eye. And I think Mancini's going to call it a day. And Lithgow doesn't want it called off. And he's protesting to his own manager. And Mancini says no. You're not going back in there with that injury around the eye. And Lithgow doesn't like that decision from his own manager. And Bruno's come over to commiserate. And Lithgow is a very, very unhappy man. But he takes it sportingly enough in the end. And it's the injury above Lithgow's left eye that's caused the stoppage. And the hand for the loser, please. And not the one underneath. Tremendous cheers for Stuart Lithgow of Hartlepool, who survived four rounds with Frank Bruno and was threatening to give him a really hard fight. <laughs>